Hi, welcome to the Polar Rules course in English. In this video we'll learn about the penalties and their execution. Let's start with penalty 1 that has three essential requirements. That 1. That the foul is done near the goal. 2. The foul was done to avoid an opponent's goal. And 3. That the foul is dangerous or with, or with a clear intention. Here we see a dangerous foul near the goal and to avoid an opponent's goal. Pasó recién es un penal uno, no sé si alguna vez vieron eso. Sí, se da gol directo. El gol y throwing, ¿ok? No, no se cambia de lado. The Ponen goal tres. is written tres. down in the board and throwing is throwing given. Acá, chicos. Gol y throwing. It's a goal Pero... and throwing given without changing sides. The throw-in gives you the opportunity to score another goal, like in this case. Let's see two other examples of penalty one. We see in this chart of the field the places where the penalties are. 30 yards from the goal is the penalty two. 40 yards from the goal, penalty 3. 60 yards, penalty 4. Any place in the field in 5A and center of the field, 5B. Corner is penalty 6 and it is executed from the 60 yards and in the spot where the ball went out. Penalty 2 can be executed from the exact place where the foul was done or from the 30 yard spot. Let's see some examples where they can choose to execute from actual foul location. Espera que te diga, eh? Juego! Only when the ball is hit, the opponents can enter ah. the field. Cuando le pega, podés recién entrar. You can't enter the field from inside the goal, and you have to be 30 yards away of the ball. In this case, he comes from inside the goal and sees the ball it's going straight to score, it's a goal, either way. Here he tries to avoid the goal correctly from a 30 yard distance, but the second, third and fourth players come from inside the goal. Penalty is done again. Here the ball is going straight into scoring. The player comes from less than 30 yards and between the posts, goal. Ball is going out, but since the player comes from in the goal, it's gonna be thrown again. Here you can see a defender player in the field. If the attacker misses, uh, it'll be thrown again. There is no 30 yard distance, so the penalty is done again. There are no 30 yards and also a foul. Since the ball went through the post, it's a goal. You cannot be behind the goal. If penalty is missed, it'll be done again. The attacking players have to be behind the ball. If they are in the palanque, like in this case, they can be part of the game until the play has ended. If they aren't behind the ball, it's a foul to the attackers. Penalties 2 and 3 have the same rules. Players can go in the field to stop the ball only after the ball is hit. Only when the player hits the ball, I insist, go in the field and don't do it between the goal and the posts. If they come in the field to stop the ball before the player hits the ball and the ball was going for the goal, it's considered a goal. If it wasn't going to be a goal, the foul is executed again. Here, two players come out before he hits the ball. Either way, it goes between the posts so it's a goal. In this case, he gets in the field but doesn't reach to stop the ball. If he did, the penalty would be done again. Here, the white player hits, ball hits the post and goes out. Since the light blue player went out early, the foul is done again. Any player can take the second chance. Here, the player is behind the goal. Since the ball goes out, it will be taken again. In this example, the player misses the ball, so if the defenders come from besides the post, anyone can take the ball. Here an attacker isn't behind the ball.
No, te tienes que estar a la bocha. Juego. Therefore, the defender team plays a foul from the center of the goal, like we see in this case. When the post is crooked, you have to imagine it straight to the side if it's goal or not. Penalty 4 from 60 yards can be defended by standing 30 yards away of the ball and the attackers can stand wherever they please. Penalties 2, 3, 4 and 6 have to be executed with only one hit or at least there has to be an intention of hitting the ball only once. If there is intention to hit it more than once, the resolution is a throw in on the foul, foul spot. The goal is done when the ball passes within the posts. If the ball goes right above the post, it's not considered a goal. Let's see in this case. The ball goes out. There's a corner when a defending team hits the ball with his mallet and goes out. Even though after he hit it, the ball bounced in one horse, a post or the wooden board. But when it bounces off a teammate's or opponent's horse, it's not a corner. Here, it bounces off the white horse of the green player, not a corner. In this case, it bounces off the white horse of the blue player, not a corner. Let's see how a corner is executed from a 60 yard spot on the line where the ball went out. In this case, there is no intention to only hit it once, but making a pass. A throw-in is executed. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.